Hello, my name is Garrett Maxson, and today we're going to be going over using list variables and advanced scripting. Uh, list variable or next variable brackets, um, list variables and dialog boxes will be your main tools to use when creating your basic templates uh, for Word, uh, for a can dictation uh, or a template dictation, I should say. And today we've already gone over next variable brackets in a tutorial video, and today we're going to go over list variables where I'm going to show you how to build a list variable from scratch and what it is and then I'm going to call a command that I've already written that uses list variables and uh, dialog boxes and some other things um, and we'll go over dialog boxes and those other tools in another, another tutorial but today we're going to focus on list variables so to start with the list variable I'm going to start by adding a new command we're going to name it uh, example of list variables our description originally blank for this, this time saving. Group is going to be user divine availability. We're going to go ahead and make this application specific just to Word, uh, Microsoft Word, and then recognizable states we don't need to worry about. Uh, text and graphics, we're going to change this to advanced scripting. And then this is where we're going to start using name editor. We're going to go over that in a second. But we're going to start by using a basic send keys to say this is. You know, how list variables works inside of a word and then we're going to add in here we're going to add a space here we're going to add our double quotes we're going to add a plus because we're actually going to add a variable here we're going to call this list variable one and list variable one will the one pertains to what type of list variable we're going to uh, which position the list variable is which we're going to go on in a second um, and then after this, we're going to add plus, and then we're going to add a period. So this plus just means that there's something outside of it, because we're going to call it a variable. We're not calling a string here. So this is our string that we're going to put out with the space. And then we're going to call our list variable, but what we could put in there. And then we're going to put a period afterwards with no space, because we don't have, want to have a space after it's going to be ending our sentence. So our list variables here, this is what we're going to be able to control when we call this. This is where we get into na using name editor. Name editor is only used for list variables. And in this point, we're going to make a new list. This is my commands name editor, which is this my command name example of list variables. If you come out here, you see that this is not grayed out at this point. When we add a list, this actually is going to be grayed out. So we have no lists that are used in this command right now, but we are going to insert a list. And I'm going to make a new list, call it example. Okay, so within context of what we're trying to say down here, this is how list variables works inside of a word. And we're going to add processor, document, uh, hello world, example, three, four, um, and that should be good. So this is this is this list right here. I'm going to press OK. And this is the list name example, and this is the contents of what we can say here. So when we add this in, you're going to see example, list variables, examples, what we named our list that we can call. And within this list of example, which is down here, because this is now well, the only list that we have in here, we can double click this and we can see and we can edit about what, we, what options we have available to call within this list variable. So I can say example of list variables document. Examples of list variables, processor, exact list variables, um, three, four, and then document all these ones. Hello world, which we're going to go ahead and do. So we can see that when we add this list variable, this gets X out. Now we cannot edit it from up here. As soon as we try to edit it, it'll bring up name editor and it'll try it, and we have to edit it through here now. So we're going to go, I'm going to save this. This is our list variable one. Um, and then I'll add another list variable in after this. Actually, I'll do that in the example. So we named this example list variable. Examples of list variables processor. Now we can see when we do this, our last part here was our list variable that was added. Examples of list variables three. And we can see that instead of processor, we said three, and so it pulled three. Examples of list variable hello world and hello world was part of it so here's our hello world those are all parts of our list that we can change uh, depending on what we're looking for uh, to say in that particular time and it's mostly used for measurements um, for our templates so we're going to come back and look at our 
command again, we can see that the list variable one is there, and that's what we're calling example list variables word processor. Uh, or here's word, but we say processor example of list variable documents. And again, these are all part of our example. These are the things that we can say during that time. So now I'm going to switch us over to a, a command that I've already made, or I can better show you the full example of what we can use. Um, which is going to be a can general dictation. I'm going to pull one of my commands that I've made for work all, um, already. You can see this is a little bit more lengthy. Um, and here we do have our send keys and we have our quotes set here. Um, and then here are our list variables. List variable one pertains to the first list variable up here, three, or four, uh, three to four, which is actually three to four to multiple. And this is used the way that the grammar is used is for not just a single one. So when we have ranging from, if we have one polyp, it's not going to be ranging from, it's going to be measures or fragment instead of fragment. So you, this is, again, you'll have to adjust your coding um, or how many templates, uh, uh, commands you have for how many different uses you're going to use. So I have four um, GI templates that are used for once for single, once for two, once for three, and four, and multiple. Um, and then I have another one for, for no tea bag included, but then we don't need to go through that with this. So you're also going to see other ones here, this herd word. Um, these are other options we'll go through later. Execute script. Um, this is the recognition mode between normal mode and command mode. Text strings. This is a dialog box. Down here we have another uh, play string, which we'll go over in later tutorials. This is basically just going to be about the list of variables. So I'm going to call this by saying CanGI 3.0.1.0.2. CanGI 3.0.1.0.2. Designation. So this is an example of our dialog box. Sigmoid. So going back to the command, I can show you what correlates to what. Oops. Um, okay, so this might be a little bit difficult to see, but we can see that our dialog box popped up in this position here. And again, that will be another tutorial, but our list variable was, the first one was three to four, so we saw CanGI three, and then 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. And inside the name editor, we'll show you that there's three. This is what I'm able to say there. And then sizes, what I'm able to say there. We can use this list variable twice. So you can see that I say, even though it's the same list, I can use it twice. CanGI three, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And so it'll enter it in where these list variables are. List variable one, perform one, R3, tan white red tissue fragments measuring 0 0.1 up to centimeters up to 0 0.2 centimeters in grace dimension. And that is how we use list variables. And again, there's a lot more that went into there. I'm sure you heard my computer talking to me. That's part of the TTS play string command, which we'll go over in a later tutorial. Uh, this is very time saving. It may be a little bit confusing at first, but you'll get used to it. List variable one, list variable two, list variable three, add them in. Um, play with it and it'll make your templates go a lot by or you, your your work go by a lot quicker instead of having to use dialog boxes which we're going to go over in another tutorial on every single variable having a list variable there and you can call it as you're calling the command will be less confusing and it'll be quicker my name is Garrett Maxson thank you for listening